Hello, my name is Dr. Anthony Chang. I'm the Chief Intelligence and Innovation Officer at Children's Hospital Orange County with a uh, interest in artificial intelligence and you are watching Facets TV. I'm Erin Runyon and you're watching Facets Television. <laughs> Welcome to Facets Television. I'm Kevin McDonald, and with us today is Dr. Anthony Chang. Dr. Chang is the Chief Innovation and Intelligence Officer for the Children's Hospital of Orange County, otherwise known to most of us here as Chalk. He's also heading up a conference called AI Med coming up later this year. Thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Chang. Thanks for having me back, Kevin. Yeah, it's really good to see you. Yeah, it's been a fast year. It sure has. So. Um, I attended the conference and I just want to talk quickly about what's coming for the new year and um, have you kind of go over what was most exciting about the last event. Well, um, since last year a lot is happening and continues to happen at an exponential pace and um, last year we had a lot of discussion about the hottest method in artificial intelligence which is deep learning. You heard about the Google uh, AlphaGo software being the human Go champion uh, earlier this year. So that's been uh, a focus for adopting that strategy for medicine, which is not easy mm -hmm. uh, because it's very, very sophisticated. So we're looking for sort of the ideal partnership between the computer and the human to make, as I say, every doctor a Sherlock Holmes. Um, so that's one uh, uh, sort of trend that's continuing. In addition to that, there are lots of uh, new dimensions to artificial intelligence that's really hot right now. One is um, virtual and augmented reality. Okay. So um, uh, everything is going virtual, including medical education um, and patient experiences. Explaining, can you imagine a surgeon explaining to, this, to the patient the surgery that he or she's about to perform using augmented or virtual reality. And so actually basically, be able to demonstrate it. Right, right literally walking yeah. through the patient through the procedure. That's fantastic. Uh, so that's very exciting. Um, there's also a lot of excitement about 3D printing. So mm -hmm. 3D printing requires a lot of artificial intelligence to write the program and to manipulate the program so that every patient will get a individualized approach to a surgical or any kind of procedure. And lastly, it's exciting to see all the sensors out there. We've talked about the Internet of Everything and mm -hmm. Internet of Things, IoT and IOE. And that is going to require artificial intelligence to sort of uh, be the traffic cop for all the signals that are coming in to... Well, and to analyze patients. the results, right? I mean, the, right. the idea is that you're going to have this immense amount of information that without artificial intelligence and machine learning, what would it mean? Right. What, what so, could it do for you? Right. right. So having uh, an intelligent virtual assistant or virtual doctor even mm -hmm. uh, in, in the form of an avatar um, for a, a sort of a chat bot uh, experience so that in the future, as we were talking about just in the hallway, uh, for clinical depression or uh, anyone that's at risk for suicide, for instance, you can have a virtual assistant talking the patient through a difficult time that is intelligent. So you don't want some uh, a robot that's just talking back in an algorithm. You want right. actually a creative conversation. So within this decade, we'll have a chatbot that's smart enough to talk to you like a, a real person. So they had that, uh, the challenge, I believe it was Google, that had to turn off its chatbot because it was creating <laughs> its own language, right? Right. And, and it was finding ways to shortcut or more efficiently speak than English, which yes. I found to be really interesting. And they ended up having to turn it off because they couldn't understand what the AI understood, even yeah. though the results were accurate. Well, sometimes, um, as in this case, the technology of artificial intelligence, as in other technologies, sort of leaping ahead of what humans can think the technology can mm -hmm. do. And also, obviously, uh, also in terms of ethics and um, yeah. the resources that's required to do something like this. So, so from that perspective, um, artificial intelligence in medicine, um, I wrote an article recently on the, the dangers of integration into the human mind, but where do you think the best benefit is going to be long term? I mean, where do you see AI in medicine being the most powerful? Well, as I think exciting as deep learning and virtual reality and chatbots are in medicine, I think the biggest gain for medicine for artificial intelligence is something actually pretty mundane, which is 
getting data to flow through the healthcare system mm -hmm. used efficiently and without duplication, without misinterpretation. So um, I just came from a family meeting just prior to this interview of a family with a child that's very complicated. It wouldn't be wonderful if all the information is funneled through so that we have maximum use of the data without a lot of duplication of tests. And, right. You know, um, where trying results to, are recognized. We're trying to find any patient's information from different subspecialists and, and laboratories are still uh, a very, very big enigma and conundrum in healthcare. So I actually see the biggest gain in healthcare is just stream, streamlining all that data and mm -hmm. information very efficiently for the doctors to understand. So I think the, um, the thing that's fascinated me the most, and if you could comment on it, is the combined intelligence idea, the whole concept that you have one specialist can only have the experience that that specialist has, but if you take a thousand specialists that have all inputted their commentary into a system that then can go, hey, these five things are the same, and by the way, that might be an answer. To me, that's exciting. That's yeah, it's uh, basically a concept of a collective superintelligence so yeah. that uh, hopefully a computer in the future will be the smartest doctor on the planet. Uh, with all the human doctors contributing to a network, that will give us the best answer to all the questions that we might have. Sort of not very different than um, for those of us who watched Star Trek in the 60s and mm -hmm. 70s when Captain Kirk used to, and to ask the, the ship computer a, a, any question and the ship computer could answer back. Right. So we're looking for that. But on the other hand, we still want the human clinician to be involved. Absolutely. Um, and I, that's why I kind of compare this to you know, the Sherlock Holmes uh, detective stories where Watson will come in, ironically it was Dr. Watson, will come in with some facts. Yeah. But it took Sherlock Holmes to kind of interpret it in Put a different way to yeah. solve a very difficult case. So I see this as, again, the, the machine learning and the deep learning computer working with the human clinician that understands the limitations mm -hmm. and the nuances of the computer to affect a great synergy. And, to, and, and I think also to both check the decision making as well yep. as I, I think the subtleties of human thought um, were a long ways away from any system being able to mimic Correct. that epiphany yeah. that comes yeah. from life's experience, right? Yeah, I think the sooner that doctors and the data scientists work together and, 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 and in a close fashion, the better. So uh, we're going to be heading into this um, segment. We've got a series of shows from AI Med that people are going to be able to watch. Um, for those that haven't attended, what, what type of an experience will they have if they attend AI Med? Well, um, we're particularly excited about this year is uh, uh, sort of backed by popular demand. Um, we're expecting well over 500 clinicians and data scientists from all around the world. Fantastic. There seems to be a clarion call for all of us that are interested in leveraging the technologies of AI in its many, many facets for healthcare and uh, medicine. And I think it ranges from, as I said, mundane things like getting chatbots and algorithms to solve the conundrum in healthcare, getting data to go from one place to another, to sort of the new um, areas in 3D printing and virtual reality. So it's going to be, I think, even more exciting than last year when we were mainly focused on machine learning and deep learning. Well, I can't wait for the audience to have an opportunity to see that series, and, and I really want to thank you for taking the time. I know you're a busy Thanks. man. <laughs> And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. I hope you'll come back. Yes, anytime you ask me. Fantastic. You've been watching Facets Television. I'm Kevin McDonald, and with us this evening is Dr. Anthony Chang. He is the Chief Innovation and Intelligence Officer at Children's Hospital of Orange County. Thanks for watching.